Charles, what's your main key to success in a relationship? Money? Because that's why I'm here, for the money? Communication. Communication. Everybody always talk about all that I'm here for the money. Period. The money. Communication is the key, y'all. Yeah. Communication. When you have money. So it make things work. Number one, the number one form of to, for a lasting relationship is communication. <laughs> yeah, communicate. Where's the money? <laughs> How much you make? How much I'm getting? That's communication. Don't lie to these people, Ooh. man. Mm -hmm. I got access to yours and you got access to mine. Baby, my birthday is in, what's the date? Four, 12 more days. What we doing? What, your birthday when? In 12 more days. Damn, your shit this month? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> oh, you are funny. You got to respect a brother who is self-aware. Who know what his woman is about. Because he's aware that she's with him for his money. Because after this conversation, this is what he did. Yeah. How big would think? Now, after this man got down on one knee and proposed to this woman, this is what she did right after. Our answer will be, will be different because we are emotional creatures. I and I feel like, you know, when I was younger, I used to have the tick for tat mentality. And I actually, I cheated on my ex-husband with Chad. I cheated on my ex-husband with Chad. I cheated on my ex-husband with Chad. That shit is crazy. Really? I, I didn't say cheat because I mentally checked out. I understand. Um, so you were almost done with that relationship. I was done. So you were I done. I was with mentally that checked I out. <laughs> okay. Um and I grew an emotional attach. So it was like I was already sexually, physically attracted to him. So it just made it even better. But see, that doesn't feel like tit for tat. It just feels like you was done and somebody else caught your attention. But at the age I'm, I'm at now, I felt like it was wrong because I should have ended that relationship fully. Yeah, um, I agree. I was younger and at that time, I was focused on myself and trying to get over everything that I went through. And if I would go back, I probably wouldn't have did what I did. C-A-P. Help. 
but it happened. I don't, you know, I can't go back and change it. Um, does, does that affect your relationship now? With us? Yeah. Of course. So do you feel like Chad may not trust you as much because he knows you was with her another? I wouldn't say it doesn't affect it doesn't affect Chad and our relationship because I told him the reason why I did what I did. Mm -hmm. Um, but it does affect my ex-husband and mm -hmm. our relationship. We do have a child together and so we are co-parenting. Co-parenting, it does affect a lot. We don't communicate at all. Yeah. I bought my son the phone. That's how we communicate. Um, but mm -hmm. it's it's hard to really explain to him because as a man, their pride is very hard. It's like, I understand. you know, you basically, I took care of things you should have, but they don't see what they do. Mm -mm. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Fellas, and this is why I always say, if a woman is on a podcast, she is who she is, bro. Because the only kind of women who will sit on a podcast and say something like this are women who are for the streets. They ain't got no shame. Now, I'm pretty sure after Chad saw this, as a man, it had to affect you, bro. Because you had to really think about it. Like, hold on. Like, what makes me so special? Why you feel she can't do it to you? Because it's not about a you're better than him thing. It's about that's who she is. That's her energy. That's how she vibrates. And the signs are always there, fellas. And I believe after he saw this clip, he, he really was like, hold up. Now, if this is true you saved by the bell you fucking screech my man count your blessings talk about being saved by the bell you was this close of marrying a bird and fellas this is why i always tell you guys bro a woman pass will always matter it don't matter who you are it don't matter how much money you got a bird will always embarrass you there's no way as a man you will feel comfortable with your wife on a podcast exposing the type of woman that she is. Let's say if you felt like you know like your girl got bird tendencies, but as long as she's in the house and nobody knows, you're going to deal with it. But once a woman say that she want to be on a podcast, <laughs> She got to get that bird shit out, man. It's like a bird got to express herself. Like a bird have to express her true being because it's who she is. She can't conceal that shit for too long. That's why, fellas, y'all can't save a bird. You can't. No matter how fat her ass is, no matter how good her pussy is, it's a mind thing. Her mind is dedicated to the streets and there's nothing you could do about that bro and as a man no one to walk away bro no one to walk away but i mean it is what it is i think i think chad had a kid with her i'm not quite sure but i mean it is what it is brother find peace man <laughs> find peace because the reality is this fellas the same way you get a woman is the same way you're gonna lose her one thing that you don't do is elevate from the side dude to the main dude. Play your position, bro. If a woman have you in the side dude position, bro, that's the best position to be in. Don't let a woman cheat on her man. Then leave that man and come and shock up with you. Because now you the fool. Because you just watch her do another man dirty. But you think you special. A bird is a bird, fellas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no man on earth that could save a bird. I'm just keeping it real. A man could try. Keep trying. 
But I assure you, a bird will return back to the streets eventually. It never fails. Look at the lineup of birds that you know in the in the game. You have the Kim Kardashians, the Amber Roses. All these women, I'm pretty sure, are in the streets. They will only deal with a man temporary because they don't have what it takes to really be in a committed relationship. Fellas, be wise out here, man. For real. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.